Part two of our series covers how the Family's First Coronavirus Response Act guarantees paid sick leave. Brought to you by the Herman and Herman Injury Attorneys of South Texas. Congress passed the Family First Coronavirus Response Act, or FFCRA, on March 18th, and it went into effect on April 1st, 2020. This act was designed to provide financial resources for people and businesses impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Part one of this video series examined how the Emergency Family Medical Leave Act, or FMLA, was expanded by FFCRA. In part two, we will look at how the emergency paid sick leave part of the act works. Bottom line, if your employer has less than 500 employees, they must provide paid sick leave immediately. Keep in mind that certain employers with less than 50 employees may apply for an exemption to this law. Emergency sick leave applies for up to two weeks of your usual work hours if you are unable to work either on location or from home because of the following. 1. You are subject to a quarantine or isolation order related to the coronavirus. 2. You have been told to self-quarantine by a health care provider related to the coronavirus. 3. You are experiencing symptoms of COVID-19. 4. You are caring for someone subject to a quarantine or isolation order or someone who has been told to self-quarantine by a health care provider. 5. You are caring for a child whose school or child care provider is unavailable because of coronavirus. If you are sick or quarantined, you can be paid your full rate of pay up to $511 per day. If you are caring for a dependent, you can be paid up to $200 per day. Paid sick time is available immediately, regardless of how long you have been with your employer. Your employer can't require you to use other types of leave, like PTO, before using emergency paid sick leave and may not deny leave given before the act went into effect. New emergency paid sick leave requirements went into effect April 1st. The leave provided does not roll over from year to year and is not payable if you leave your position. Your employer may not discriminate or retaliate against you for using emergency sick leave. However, they may require reasonable check-ins to continue to receive paid sick leave. It gets tricky fast if your employer won't allow you to take the sick leave and someone gets injured or dies as a result. A free consultation with an experienced personal injury attorney may be necessary to determine whether you have legal options. If you've been injured and need legal help, please call the Herman & Herman Law Firm at 844-426-6000.